Laughter connects you with people. It's almost impossible to maintain any kind of distance or any sense of social hierarchy when you're just howling with laughter. Laughter is a force for democracy. As you remember when we first, when we saw the first video this morning of Micah uh, laughing, uh, it's amazing for me to watch how many of us got such a charge out of that. Uh, laughter is truly contagious, it seems. So I don't know why I volunteered to do this program this morning. Uh, but Hobart says, oh, you've got to do it. On, it's on laughter. So I says, well, what makes you think I'm qualified to do anything on laughter? So uh, I, thought I'd, I thought I'd start uh, my research with the red nose. And I've done a lot of research. <laughs> so, so brace yourselves is all I've got to say. Hopefully this will be a meaningful, meaningful experience today. And I'll take this off because it makes me feel like I have asthma. <laughs> I have about three disclaimers, maybe, yeah, I guess three disclaimers I want to mention before I start. I don't intend to offend anyone in this room by my remarks or jokes, so bear that in mind. Uh, Please don't hold what I'm going to do or say today against Hobart. He had nothing to do with this. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes, uh, so bear with me. Today I'm going to try, attempt to tell you everything you wanted to know about laughter but were afraid to ask. Uh, I'll probably not be revealing anything too exciting, too startling, too philosophical, uh, or mind-boggling. But it's a topic that, as I think I've already said, we don't think about. We, we, we don't think about laughter and how it can influence us. Uh, so it was an interesting topic for me to think about, and I hope you leave here today with... Uh, a few more thoughts about how laughter can benefit you. I want to take you on a fun journey, I hope, to investigate this phenomenon. I remember the first time I was in a big college, I, my family had moved to California from uh, a small town in Florida, and I was attending this big geology class and I was rather intimidated because, I mean, you'd walk into these lecture halls and there would be like two or three hundred students. And I was taking beginning geology, and that's why I hoped Megan would be here today uh, so that she could hear my story. Uh, and I didn't like geology. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to hate this uh, study of rocks. But I never will. Oh, by the way, you heard what one rock said to the other rock. Don't no. take me for granite. <laughs> well, I walked, I walked into this big class of about 200 people, and I never will forget the professor, how he made me love to study geology because of his sense of humor. I had never seen it in the classroom before. And some of you, being older, will appreciate this. One day we were watching a video presentation on shale, S-H-A-L-E. And uh, he walked into the classroom, started up the projector, and he says, oh, we're going to watch a movie today entitled Red Shells in the Sunset. Well, you know, I chuckled. I said, that's good, that's good. And this will have meaning only to those of you who are older in the audience. And he says, uh, it stars Frank Sinatra's brother. Uh, it's Frank Sinatra's brother? And he says, yeah, not so hotra. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean... He was always coming out with these little gems 
And I got to where I really wanted to and enjoyed going to. I wanted to study and enjoy going to his class because of the sense of humor he had. There are many ways in which humor enters our, enters our lives. Uh, we use it, hopefully, to lessen our fears, to relax us, to give us comfort. Believe it or not, to boost the immune system. I'll talk about that in a minute. Ease pain and to combat stress. Overall, Laughter is truly contagious, as I think you can go back again to the beginning when we watched Micah laugh. Everybody in this room got caught up in this chuckling baby. Uh, there was a video that I came across in my search, uh, research materials that takes place on a subway car in Paris. We won't have time to watch it today, but uh, I, wanted, I wanted to so badly, it's too long, but it's about an actor who gets on a full subway car and you see all these people, you know, some people are sleeping by the window and some people are reading, some people are, you know, having a quiet conversation if they have a person there that they know. And some people are just staring absently into, fa into space. Well, this actor gets on and he sits down in the middle of the car and he begins to chuckle. And then he begins to, you know, kind of just to chortle. And then he begins to belly laugh. Well, it's like a rippling effect in this subway car because people at first look at him and say, what, you know, what's going on here? Well, to make a long story short, eventually the whole, mo almost everybody in the subway car gets wrapped up in his laughter. And the amazing thing is not only that, but to watch the expressions of people who get on the subway car <laughs> <laughs> wondering what, you know, what's going on, what's so funny. So, uh, as I say, I wish we had time to watch it. I have a couple of other videos that I think you will enjoy. I um, have a few questions I want to just ask to kind of tweak your thoughts this morning about laughter and let me just mention them and then we'll get into some benefits of laughter what do you laugh at the poet Goethe says nothing shows one's character more than what he laughs Another thought, who gave you your laugh? Do you laugh like your dad? Do you laugh like your mother? Does it alter every time you think or remember where your laugh came from? These are good questions, I think. Have you lost your laughter? Reason I say that, researchers tell us that the average child laughs 400 times a day. The average adult, 18. Maybe the children are laughing at us. <laughs> so truthfully, we adults all have lost our laughter to some degree. Have you ever been told that you are too serious? I think of a quote from Art Linkletter, those of you, us who remember him. Keep a sense of humor, he says. It doesn't mean you have to tell jokes. If you can't think of anything else, when you're my age, take off your clothes <laughs> and walk in front of a mirror, <laughs> I guarantee you'll laugh. <laughs> Next item, why do we laugh? 
we never really we never really think about it usually but why we laugh says a lot about us do we laugh out of sheer joy out of nervousness you've heard nervous laughs of people or just for the fun of it do we laugh to make others comfortable to avoid serious conversations in short what does your laughter say about you ah this makes me think of a religious joke <laughs> brace yourself <laughs> there were three clergy discussing death and one of them said, if you were in your casket and friends and family were gathered, what would you like to hear them say? The Baptist preacher said, I would like to hear them say that I was a wonderful husband, a fine spiritual leader, and a great family man. The Catholic priest said, I would like to hear them say, that I was a wonderful teacher and a servant of God who made a huge difference in people's lives. The Unitarian Universalist <laughs> minister said, I would like to hear them say, look, he's moving. Can we laugh at ourselves? We shouldn't even bother answering this question ourselves. Ask your spouse or a friend or a child. I wonder if you would agree with their truth. Have you ever bullied someone with your laughter? We use laughter and jokes to make fun of people. This is not just kid stuff. Adults knock each other down and humiliate each other all the time with joke, jokes and teasing that is supposedly all in fun. For example, A customer asks a clerk in a store, in what aisle could I find Polish sausage? The clerk asks, are you Polish? The guy, clearly offended, says, yes, I am, but let me ask you something. If I'd ask for Italian sausage, would you ask me if I was Italian? Or if I'd asked for German bratwurst, would you ask me if I was German? Or if I'd ask you for a kosher hot dog, would you ask me if I was Jewish? Or if I'd ask you for a taco, would you ask me if I was Mexican? Or if I ask you for some Irish whiskey, would you ask me if I was Irish? Clark responded, no, I probably wouldn't. The customer says, because I asked for Polish sausage, why did you ask me if I was Polish? The clerk replied, because you're in Home Depot. <laughs> Overall, when it comes to letting your feeling of neg negativity go and, and your feelings of depression, there is nothing quite like the healing properties and benefits of laughter. 
having a sense of humor not only helps us to make life more fun, but the more we learn to laugh at life and ourselves, the easier it can become to face up, our ch face up to our challenges and overcome times of adversity. The more we laugh, the lighter and freer we feel. Just think about the last time you laughed. Didn't you feel incredible afterward? Think about going to a funny movie and how you walk out and how you feel. Laughter really is the best medicine and it's cheap. <coughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, th I think I have a frog in my throat. <laughs> There's your eye roll, Jack. I'm going to talk now about the seven benefits of laughter. And I've given seven members today quotes that I'm going to use to introduce each of my benefits. So when I call your number, if you don't mind to come up to a mic and read your quote, that would be great. That'll move us into the topic. Who has quote number one? I think Al, come on up here. Okay, if you don't learn to laugh at trouble, you won't have anything to laugh at when you're old. <laughs> uh, yeah, Edgar Watson Howe did that quote. <laughs> Laughter stops fear. I know as you get older, I know this has happened to me, you can't help think but of your mortality somewhat. And uh, laughter helps maybe cope with that a little bit. So if you'll, if you'll bear with me, I'll sh give you an example of this. A law firm in Philadelphia opened an office in Washington, D.C. To celebrate the opening, the Philadelphia office sent an arrangement of flowers to the Washington office. However, there was a mix-up in the delivery. The flowers arrived, that arrived had a note attached that said, our deepest sympathy. <laughs> and elsewhere, at someone's funeral, there was an arrangement flowers with a note that read, congratulations on your new location. As you can tell, laughter is an extremely effective and fun way of combating fear. When we are made to laugh in the face of what scares us, it distances us from our fear. Whatever we are afraid of, be it public speaking, revisiting a traumatic childhood memory, a medical scare, when we laugh, at that moment, our fear loosens its grip. Item or benefit number two. Laughter relaxes us. Laughter is the corrective force which prevents us from becoming cranks. Henri Bergson. Oh, 
Okay, let me find my place. Similar to exercise, the relaxation benefits of laughter are fantastic. The greater the bout of laughter, the more endorphins and blood we get pumping throughout the body. These endorphins, which are our homegrown feel-good chemicals, are released in the brain via opioid receptors. The more opioid receptors a given person has in her, his or her brain, the more powerful the effect. Highly addictive opioid drugs like heroin also bind to those recept receptors, suggesting that laughter induces euphoria, not unlike a narcotic, minus the obvious drawbacks, of course. Number three, laughter is comforting. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> if laughter cannot solve your problems, it will definitely dissolve your problems so that you can think clearly what to do about them. <coughs> laughter is known to have the same carthetic effect as a reassuring hug. A warm chuckle or a playful joke lets you know that everything is going to be okay, no matter what the circumstances. When we laugh, we are usually making light of something. In the darkest of times, therefore, laughter can make people feel as though everything isn't as bad as it initially seemed. Number four. <coughs> Laughter boosts the immune system. Uh, Norman Cousins says that laughter serves as a blocking agent. Like a bulletproof vest, it may help protect you against the ravages of negative emotions that can assault you in disease. Research has shown that laughter has an anti-inflammatory effect that protects blood vessels and heart muscles from the damaging effects of cardiovascular disease. How this happens isn't entirely understood but it seems to related to lessening the body's stress response, which is entirely linked to inflammation. Number five, laughter eases pain. Uh, Victor Frankl says, I never would have made it if I could not have laughed. It lifted me momentarily out of this horrible situation just enough to make it livable. I, I looked up Victor Frankl. I knew the name. Uh, he was a legendary Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor. And many of you might be familiar with his book, The Pursuit of Happiness. So there you are. The feel-good chemicals that we've talked about and hormones that are released around our bodies when we laugh, as well as the positive mind frame that we create for ourselves, can do wonders for easing symptoms of pain. Recognized by science to help reduce pain, Laughter is now even used in hospitals to encourage a, encourage a quicker recovery from an array of illnesses. 
Number six, laughter combats stress. I have not seen anyone dying of laughter, but I know millions who are dying because they are not laughing. Dr. Madan Kataria. Laughter is a great stress buster. Whether we are laughing with friends, on our own, or watching a funny TV show or film, laughter can provide a much welcome cure to chronic stress. The next time you are feeling stresses of your everyday life, take some time out to do something that makes you laugh. Number seven, laughter is contagious. Laughter is the shortest distance between two people. Victor Borg. <laughs> Probably the single greatest thing about laughter is that it spreads happiness. From when we are very young, we often find that people around us begin to laugh, sometimes for absolutely no reason. Within minutes, we too are doubled over in fits of hysteria. I want to show a couple, uh, no, this is one video of uh, a subway car. I mentioned the video that I wasn't going to show earlier. This is on a, um, I'm, hang on a second, I may have, over, did I overlook a video? Oh, let me explain this one. This is the next video. Can we do the, the subway car or is... That's the next video. Yes, here we go. I want you to watch... I'll let it explain itself.
good. So, so that gives you, that gives you an idea. You take this woman who's on a train, mostly with men, in her own isolated world, and then she gets into this situation, and uh, it, it's just priceless. I think just priceless. Want to talk quickly about two things. Um, one is called fun theory. Um, I'll start, since we had quotes, I'll read a quote to introduce it. Each of us has a spark of life inside us, and our highest endeavor ought to be to set off that spark in one another. Fun theory is something new. This involves the enhancement of situations, proving that laughter and fun can change behavior. I've got two short videos, kind of give you just a little preview. One is of a trash can, or trash bin it's called, and you'll see how it's modified and how people's behavior changes. The other, which you've caught a glimpse of, is called piano stairs. So let's take a quick look at each of these videos and then I'll talk about them. Notice how many people are using the stairs.
So as you can tell from the first trash bin, did you see that almost twice as much trash was put in that bin than in the one nearby? In the second video about the piano stairs, as it says, 60%, 66% used the stairs more than normal after the sound was enhanced. Finally, I'll talk very quickly about laughter therapy. The quote for that is from Dr. Seuss. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. <laughs> the actual practice of laugh therapy is growing in popularity. Followers and users say the simple act of laughing helps not only to release muscular tension, which relieves stress, as we've already talked about, but also improves things like blood flow, heart rate, and digestion. This type of therapy is getting so popular that even the Pentagon is training military families to use it. Just in a quick closing, I want to thank Joanne Bowie for her accompaniment on the piano. Appreciate that. <laughs> and I want to thank Robert Ochter for the video assistance. I appreciate, appreciate that so much. So there you have it. From starting with some questions about laughter to the health benefits of laughter to fun theory and laughter therapy. There is so much that is still moving, never stop expecting surprises. Even in the midst of worry and loss, life still slips in surprises wonderful surprises. Let's be sure we're in on that joke. And finally, I hope everybody got a program. I spared no expense for this. <laughs> at the bottom, at the very bottom of your program, you can cut out that letter because I've given everyone a freebie. Thank you.